All right, guys, we're back for part two of my gameplay on Yoshi's Tropical Island on Mario Party for the Nintendo 64. I got Mark here with me. All right, so we're just about to get underway with uh, turn number 12 right now. So let's get back into it and see what happens next. So I apologize uh, to everyone out there if you saw the uh, first part, because uh, if you all didn't see that, um, I unfortunately had a couple of interruptions from my dad, all because of how loud I was. So I apologize for that uh, from earlier, but um, I'm hoping throughout the uh, rest of this gameplay, there are no more interruptions from him. But anyways, with that being said, we're doing... Balloon burst right here after Wario unfortunately landed on that Bowser space. We gotta be careful that we don't lose this. Okay, we won. And all my opponents lose 20 coins. Alright, my turn. Alright, an 8. Oh, it's pretty close to that uh, happening space. I, I would have had it if I would have rolled one higher. Alright, 2 for Peach. Alright, let's go into a 1 versus 3 mini game. Oh, it's Crane game that we're playing now. And Wario's the one that's controlling the crane. Alright, let's see what happens. Yeah, I had a feeling he was going for me, all because of how much money I have. And I couldn't quite get out of there in time, but I tried my best. So, uh, when you basically uh, take away money from uh, uh, one of the team players, uh, it, you basically steal a, a third of uh, what they got. But with how much money I have, Wario ended up stealing 28 of my coins, and all thanks to the money that he stole from me, he's unfortunately getting another star. And right after that, he lands on the happening space, but at least the good news is that it will help me out from uh, where I'm at. Out of seven, and we are now on the board of the star. Alright, I'll gladly take a 10 coin bonus as well. Alright, a one player mini game. Oh boy, paddle power. Alright, so let's read on how this works. Light up the room before you get caught by Boo. Rotate the left analog stick to light up the light bulb. So we're just basically rotating the left analog stick to paddle. You can't defeat Boo with a weak light. Rotate the left analog stick as much as you can. Now, for this particular mini game, this is one of the hardest to win at. It's all about trying to be fast right here while rotating the left analog stick. But we'll try the best we can here and see if we can do this. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> it looked like that boo was right about to get me right there, but somehow I barely got it in time. Yeah, they. Alright. Uh, 
Yeah, it definitely does help to have a better durable control stick here. And Peach just landed on a uh, happening space. Uh, we're now heading into a four player mini game, and it's Keep Away. Yeah, better to uh, 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 use a, a controller that has a better durable control stick. Well, unfortunately, we couldn't win that mini game, all because uh, they ended up stealing away the key that we had. So all of us have to give up five coins. But yeah, as I was gonna say, uh, for Mario, uh, the mini games where you have to rotate the left analog stick very fast, right here, really can be challenging. And because uh, of the way um, that the the the, 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 the rotating uh, analog stick mini games are challenging, people would do this thing where they uh, put uh, the palm of their hand and rotate it that way. But anyways, let's see where we get here on the mushroom space. There we go. There's a mushroom. So there's another term that we get right here. Uh, there's a Bowser space if I go uh, left, but luckily the star is over to the right, so I'm gonna have to go over there. And we'll pay three coins to go uh, past the tall. And we get another one player mini game a whack a plant! Alright, let's go ahead and read on how this works. Jump on the piranha plants that come out of the pipes and knock them back down. Get coins for each one you jump on. So you basically move the left analog stick and jump with A. You can reach the furthest flowers with a long jump. Hold down A to do a long jump. Alright, this is definitely a very good one player mini game overall because it can be a good opportunity for you to try to get a nice amount of coins. Oh, oh, okay. So yeah, um, if you guys uh, haven't seen uh, Mark's channel, uh, he does uh, host the Weekend Gamers over there. So uh, uh, I'd recommend you guys uh, subscribe to his channel as well if you haven't already. Because uh, I do say the Weekend Gamers is a very fun series overall. And I, I do happen to be a part of that series as well. Alright. Uh, yeah, but despite that change though, I still don't think we're gonna be having uh Carlos knows since he said he's gonna be Colorado this weekend. Uh yeah, um yeah uh, uh, yeah basically my good friend uh uh Luke out there is uh gonna be heading to Colorado uh, later this weekend, so uh I do hope that he does have a nice trip over there. <laughs> yeah, it definitely does make sense right there. Alright, time to play Piranha's Pursuit for our next mini game, and Yoshi's the one on the skateboard. So I'm with uh, Peach and Wario for this one.
Nice try, Yoshi. You failed. So me and my two teammates each steal five coins from Yoshi. All plus block for Wario. And he gets a poison mushroom. <laughs> Too bad. Now I'm gonna land on the happening space. And let me also say this right now, um, back in the day when people originally played this game on the uh, Nintendo 64 system, um, the mini games where you have to rotate the left analog stick around very fast gave some people hand blisters right here. And because of that right here, um, and, uh, Nintendo unfortunately had a lawsuit right there for what was happening to some people's hands like that. And Yoshi got a poison mushroom too. And because of the way uh, that, that some people had uh, hand blisters in some of the mini games on here, they didn't bring this to the virtual console on the Wii or Wii U, uh, uh, all because of what was going on. And literally all my opponents just had a poison mushroom right there on this turn, just very crazy. And not only that, we're playing Pipe Maze again, but only this time I'm in control of the chest. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Alright, um, I think I'm gonna try the third pipe. If any of you guys uh, do know, I have Mario Party 2 downloaded on my Wii Virtual Console, and that was the only one of the Nintendo 64 Mario Parties that they bought over to the Virtual Console. They didn't bring the first one and three over there, which I can understand that for Mario Party 1, but I'm not so sure why they even did it for three, but I don't know. But anyways, we're on the last five turns now. Let's take a look at the current standings. Alright, so right now, Wario's in first place, I'm in second, Yoshi's in third, and Peach is in last. And Cooper's predicting Wario will win. Alright, so of course, uh, from this point on until the end of the game, all blue and red spaces are going to be worth twice their normal amount of coins, and we'll now get 20 coins for passing start. Alright, let's see what happens on the last five turns. So, uh... All my opponents are not going to be able to move uh, on this turn all because of the poison mushrooms that they got. And we did also get a plus block right there on this turn, which is pretty nice. Alright, looks like we're playing Skateboard Scamper again. Okay, better grab those coins right there. Alright, who's gonna win? Ah, oh, Peach got it. But I try my best. Alright, that's an A for Wario. Alright, I got four. I'm just barely avoiding Bowser, at least for now. I just gotta hope that one of my opponents lands on a happening space here, which will really help me out.
Alright, Peach is paying four coins on this tall. She gets to do a one player mini game. Teetering Towers. Alright, so let's see how she does. Oh, by the way, um, Mark is actually very close to uh, 5,000 subscribers uh, on his channel, so it, he would definitely appreciate the support if uh, some of you guys uh, check out his channel if you haven't already. Oh, you're, you're pretty close right now. That's pretty exciting. Alright, we're playing Mushroom Mix-Up for our next mini-game. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're starting with green. Alright, what's next? Yellow. Oh, there goes Wario and Peach. I'm right, back to green. Okay, that was a weird ground pound that Yoshi did right there. And he was literally very close to the ground when he did that. I run the pink, and we win. Now I'm up to exactly one hundred coins. All right, we have three more turns left to go. Well, we're unfortunately a uh, seeing Bowser right here. There was just nothing much we could do about that. So we unfortunately have to give up some of our coins that we have. But we do get to see Boo, however. And the nice thing is, is that we can choose to steal a star right here since we got 50 or more coins. And because Wario is in first place, I have to steal from him. So thanks to that star steal that we just did, we are now in the lead in first place. Nice. Let's hope that we can hold on to it here. Alright, that's a one for Yoshi. And Peach gets herself a two, and that's going to make her land on a happening space. Alright, uh, heading into a four player mini game Coin Block Bloods. Alright, let's see what happens here. Alright, let's see how we did. Okay. 
Alright, two more turns left. Wario just got a plus block. Well, it looks like he's about to get his star right back there. But we're still very in the lead. I talked for Wario to do a one player mini game. Shall game. So basically, uh, uh, how this mini game works is that you have to try to find uh, the treasure chest that one of the Koopas is holding right here that has the coins inside. So basically, uh, the Koopas are going to move around right here, and you have to try to keep track of the treasure chest that has the coins inside right there. And Wario got it right! From what I played on this uh, particular main game, uh, it's normally a simple one to win uh, as long as you uh, keep track of the right treasure chest that you're aiming for. Alright, a 10. Alright, let me uh, take a look at the uh, map right here. Alright. I'm gonna go down. Right, that's a war block for Yoshi. He switches places with Wario. That makes him play a one-player mini game. Right, looks like he's playing slot machine. Yeah, it can be hard from time to time, but uh, depending on how you are with uh, with the timing here. Uh, it, it all just depends on how difficult it can be. Oh, Yoshi got it. He's gonna get 10 coins right there. Alright, let's go to Peach. Four. And she lands on a Bowser space. Alright, looks like it's Bowser space left. Oh boy, we have to give up 30 coins if we can't get 90 points or higher. So we really have to try to focus. Alright, let's do it. Alright, I think this looks pretty good. Let's hope it will be enough. Okay, we got it. Okay. So we got 96 points. And Yoshi and Peach couldn't even get 90 points or better right there. So they have to give up 30 coins. Alright, heading into a 1 versus 3 minigame. And we're playing for Ross Pursuit again. Well, I, I actually do believe this is only the second time that we're doing this mini game for this particular game. And now Peach is the one on the skateboard while well, I'm paired up with Yoshi and Wario. And looks like Peach lost. Too bad. I run the last turn, and we are going to stop right here for this part, and I'll see you guys in the next part.